As you guys can see, I'm very sweaty. So you can tell I filmed this after the job was done. Did we do it right? And did we get the cab off of the truck? Well, you'll see coming up. So right now we got the majority of the stuff off of the truck, like our fenders, our front clip and whatnot. We need to start getting the cabin ready to come off. So we're going to start removing some stuff up here in the engine bay as well as getting the doors off so we can get this thing good to go. We've now got to prepare the cabin to come off of the actual frame itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking off the driver's and passenger side doors. These here are three 13 millimeter bolts right here, top and bottom. We remove those and then we can unlatch the door itself. I might save the door latch itself because I don't know if I might do something with these. Then we'll finally take the hood off, start removing some of this stuff here along the firewall, then crawl underneath so we can release the four bolts down there. So we can then take this thing, toss it over onto the trailer to take it to the recycling yard. Another thing I'd like to point out here real quick is on the back side of the door where the hinge goes, you can see there's a plate right there. That plate helps sandwich in the actual door hinge and that's what everything bolts into. Once you remove those bolts, that plate just falls right out. place is the wiring harness that goes up and through it and we're going to take this body clip removal tool jam it down in here and just kind of get this grommet out so we can start feeding those wires back out through here one thing i'm doing is i'm going through and i'm pulling out all of the wires that go into the door switch the reason i'm doing this is because for one of my art pieces I want to be able to reuse the actual door switch so i don't need all the wires here but i also don't want to cut it in case maybe somebody else is going to need this or something so i'm going to go ahead and just pull all these out that way we can free this up and then all the wires then should pull out through the door Right here inside the door jam, the hood release attaches with two Phillips head screws. Along the firewall, I push in the grommet. That way I can go ahead and pull it the rest of the way through here. We're also gonna go ahead and slide out the ECU. Then push the grommet and the transmission cable through. As we can see here, there's also several things along the firewall that need to be removed or at least disconnected. Now, we're not gonna take everything off because I don't believe that we need everything. So we have most of what we need disconnected, disconnected. This here, the brake booster, there's four bolts on the other side. I disconnected that, came right off. This harness was just up along the hood and the firewall. I just used my body clip removal tool to pull out these tree furs. For all the AC pump and everything, there is a harness right here that once you disconnect that from this, this is standalone. So the way these old clamps work is you can see there's a screw right here. What it does is as you tighten this, it goes down and pulls this piece up into like an upside down U shape or an N shape and that's what tightens the clamp. Now these things have been on here for so long, you can see all the gunk and corrosion that's around them. These are not coming off, so I'm gonna have to cut the lines right here at the base. Having trouble over there disconnecting the AC line. So what I did is I came over here, there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the back of the AC pump. Just went ahead and I'm disconnecting it right here because chances are the vehicle that uh, this engine goes into, it's not gonna have AC anyway. We need to unbolt our steering shaft as well as our cable for our throttle and we'll be good to remove this. Here underneath the truck, all we have to do now is remove the four nuts here that hold the cab in place. We have one here. There's gonna be another one over there in the other corner. And then if you can see there around that rusted section, it looks like it's ready to fall out on its own. We have one there and then another one on the other side. So I'm thinking these are probably gonna snap off, which is fine as long as the bolt itself, the stud snaps off, then we can still lift the body. This is the first time I've worked on anything like this. This nut here, so far as I can tell, 
on this truck is a 23 millimeter. So we're gonna put that in the impact and see what we can do. Ah, that's what we call that. It's actually not a stud, it's a bolt. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put this crescent wrench on here and hope that it hits that and doesn't spin it off. I need to get myself a stronger impact because that didn't work, but I put the wrench and a pipe on here. It seems to be turning no problems until that happened. Having absolutely zero luck pulling this nut off the bottom, what I decided to do was uh, just cut through this using my Sawzall and cut straight through that bolt. Now we don't even gotta worry about it. Remove the two bolts there in the back. This front one, as you can see, is so rusted through that it just broke free. So we only have one bolt over in that corner holding this thing on right now. With everything out of the inside and the cab unbolted, I believe the last thing we gotta do is just cut this e-brake line. I can't get it to detach from in here. I tried using the Sawzall and it didn't work, so we're gonna go ahead and just use the die grinder. So what we have set up here is one of the ramps from the trailer itself and we're using that to bridge from the frame over onto the trailer. So far so good. We just got to lift it up and get the other side over and past the transmission and we should be able to get this on here pretty easy. And there we have it. It is now on the trailer, the whole cab. We have an empty frame sitting right here outside of the drivetrain. This was not easy. I was going to set up the camera and film a little bit more, but the problem is to try and get the right angles for you guys to see what we needed. It would have been a lot of stop down, hop down, move it, hop down, move it. And there was enough of that just trying to get this on here. If y'all can see, there's some gouges in the trailer, nothing too bad, but that was one of our hangups was once it got off of the ramp right there and onto the wood, it started digging in and that caused quite a few hangups. But we now have that on there. We're gonna be able to take our scrap pieces, toss them inside the back of the truck, and then we'll be taking this over to the scrap yard tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that little bell notification. That way you don't miss any of the other fun stuff that we got going on. And if you can't hit our regular schedule, hit us while you're on the can. We'll poop with you. We got a lot of fun projects coming up and I want you guys all to be there along with us. Thank you so much. Until next one, peace.